Welcome back to the EAM crypto channel where we don't need no stinking alt season uh, because we have fork season or uh, titano fork season. So sorry for that silly thumbnail. I know holding a fork is kind of weird, but thought it'd be kind of funny. Titano forks. I'm holding a fork. Yeah, yeah, you get it. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get our community as quickly as possible to that thousand uh, subscriber mark. So hopefully that'll help us grow. Uh, so today I did want to cover uh, yesterday's uh, launch with Uranus. Uh, it went very, very well. I wanted to discuss that and just compare it to some of the other Titano forks. And uh, before I get going, I am definitely not a financial advisor. Just a guy that clicks on the record button and starts talking about, um, apparently lately, Titano forks. Because uh, they sure are a lot of fun to cover. So yeah, let's talk about Uranus. Uh, it got on coin, coin market cap. Um, today or maybe it could have been last night i'm not sure um and by the way if you guys were pretty funny on those comments and um uh, and on twitter with the whole uranus jokes uh, i guess i'm still uh, not a grown-up because uh they made me laugh every time so uh yeah if you like youtube channels where uh the person talking it clearly is still pretty immature hit that subscribe button because that's me uh, but anyways uh yeah the launch went really really well um, as if you guys saw my first video, you know, you're pretty well versed with the project. If not, uh, Uranus is just basically a Titano fork. They did things very, very similar to uh, Titano, uh, but the APY is a lot higher. Uh, it's 153%, thousand percent versus 102% uh, for Titano. And they just seem to have a very, a very good team, very strong team. I've been in contact with them. I was in contact with them after the video. Uh, which again gave me really good vibes, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, they're now listed on Coin Market Cap. I think they're now listed on, on Coin Gecko. I honestly haven't checked. Uh, but and the uh, the white paper should have the addresses for the risk free value uh, contract address as well as the treasury and um, the website. Um, you know, they had kind of reached out to me a couple of the guys on Discord uh, that watched the video, and they're really cool about it. I mean, I, I didn't give the most bullish video just because you know Anortis had just done the. Um, the rug pull and i'm kind of newer to the space i don't consider myself a titano fork expert um however i have been talking every day to devs and at night um and have learned a lot about the space i i actually feel a lot more comfortable with it especially also from like a development perspective i i understand now why titano had some of those weird things on the white paper with the 100 percent selfies and so on and i can get into that but but there, there there's a lot that goes into it so but bottom line, I really, um, the, the website's good to go now. We can take a look at it. They reached out to me. They're like, hey, um, you know, they addressed some of the things that I brought up and they did in a very cool way. They, they felt that my video was very transparent. It wasn't like a moon boy. Hey, everyone that, you know, buys uh, Uranus on the launch or in the white list is going to, you know, become a millionaire. But that's not what my channel's about. That's why I started a channel almost two months ago because I felt like there was too many moon boy um youtubers giving bad advice and not letting everyone know hey you got to pr protect your crypto it's not always about going to the moon um so you know I, it, but those guys were really cool about it um so i'm really impressed with this uh uranus team i i, I really am I, i've talked now to three or four of them on one-on-one -on -one in some way shape or form via discord or or whatever and um i'm just getting a good vibe out of them uh they seem sharp you can tell that the marketing guys are doing their thing uh, there was a lot of congestion with uh, Phantom, like usually happens with Phantom. I'm starting to realize I'm, I'm newer to Phantom, but I'm become, I've, I have become a big fan of it because it's so freaking inexpensive. That's how crypto should be. It's crazy that we've all been like socialized and, and kind of like tricked into accepting these ridiculous Ethereum fees. So projects like, you know, chains like, you know, Binance or AVAX or Phantom that are trying to be an alternative for Ethereum, I'm just a huge fan of them and I'm just gonna cheer them on. I'm gonna get my pom-poms out and cheer them on because that's what crypto should be all about. But yeah, unfortunately Phantom had some issues with congestion. I mean, the launch for Uranus was messing spooky swap as well. So it was just a lot for it to handle. So hopefully it will work on that. Uh, in some ways it made me think about how much it makes the narrative for ZK rollups to be stronger. Um, I've talked about ZK roller rollups in previous videos, but basically with ZK rollups, the, the busier, and the more traffic and the more users on, on the CK rollup, um, the cheaper it becomes and it doesn't have those same congestion issues. So I think that's where we're gravitating towards is probably doing some kind of CK rollup slash, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I just think that that's how we're gonna be gravitating in time, but that will be interesting to see. But I guess I'm, I'm digressing from what this video is about. 
Uh, but yeah, the, the team just crushed crushed the launch despite the the FTM congestion. The guys did a really good uh, job on Discord. <clears throat> it was super. Um, it got a little contentious there a little bit. A lot of people were freaking out. Oh my god, what's going on? But oh my god, it's a rug pull. But no, it, it was just the congestion. But the the team handled it really well on Discord. They were very engaged. They seem to always be very engaged on Discord. I think they're starting to up their Twitter game a little bit. We can look at that as well. And I don't know. I mean, I just think that this is a good team. And I I had said earlier that they didn't give me the answers I wanted the first time I talked to them, but then they followed up and, and were very open and gave me all the answers I needed. And I just, I feel pretty good about this project. I really do. Um, having said that, I'm going to always be transparent. I did sell uh, about half of, of my uh, OUR tokens. Um, got pretty pretty close to the top uh, we can we can look at the chart but um i did notice this double and i usually trading on a five minute graph is silly but i did do it yesterday and kind of like around down here when it did kind of a double top i did think okay this might be a good time to take profits i was like up like 7x and took profits somewhere around here and uh and i still own a ton uh of this of this uh asset so i i am a believer in these guys long term they seem to have some cool ideas and they're like hey just wait they didn't want to give me too much info but they have some cool stuff coming up and these guys just seem like they're going to be innovating uh they're going to be creating and i just have a good uh vibe about them i think that they're gonna you know what i guess my big thing right now would be is and, and i'm a poseidon holder i do own poseidon tokens so i don't want to seem like i'm anti that project but if we're being honest, why would I want, like for a new market participant that wants to engage into one of these Titano fork assets, and they're thinking to themselves between uh, one of the forks, whether it's you know Uranus, Pallas, or Poseidon, and they ask themselves, which one should I pick? I mean, I, I think that the choice is kind of easy, isn't it? I mean, it's Uranus because the market cap is just so low right now. So the market cap right now is about fully diluted 2.2 million if we look at poseidon their fully diluted market cap is 13 almost 13 and a half million but check this out um when well here let's look at this at their highest point which was what about 8.4 cents which is not a 3x but about a 2.8x 2.8x yeah and that's at 2.8 13 million so that's almost about 35 million at their highest point so if uranus is innovating and doing a lot which i haven't really seen poseidon do as much and they're not as engaged with their <coughs> with the community um that means i mean 35 million we could still get like a 17x out of uranus it wouldn't be weird a 17x um would still not be weird it would make a lot of sense if you think that these guys are gonna just do what Poseidon did at their high point, um, yikes! I hadn't realized that until right now. I mean, so yeah, I mean, it, it just looks like a really strong buy for me still, or at least. Uh, and if you already have a bunch of hold, but <clears throat> I feel pretty good about this project. Um, there's a lot of things going on with the macro that are weird and and interesting. Uh, Powell's gonna speak today and. It's just weird, right? Because we, we've, we've told ourselves that we live in this, that capitalism rules, but yet the markets are going to be dictated by what this one guy says. Uh, I think the um, uh, late today, right now, it's kind of morning for me, but uh, late today, he's going to speak or in the afternoon, I'm not sure what time, and he's going to affect the market. So it's going to be interesting to see how the markets interpret what he states. And you can see BTC and everything else, you know, jump up maybe another 10% based on what he says, or it could fall down pretty quick. Um, I still think that 40K is a big point of contention for, for Bitcoin. And if it can't cross 40K, we're probably going to be testing the low 30s, unfortunately. I mean, and this is not my thoughts. It's just what the market states. I mean, the market, the TA states. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye on that. But these Titano projects have done very, very well. Very, very well, despite BTC going on a downtrend. We don't know what these what these Titano forks or what Titano is going to do when BTC is pumping because we haven't seen that yet. All we've seen is a downtrend since you know Thanksgiving weekend or so. So that's going to be really interesting. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is that of the Titano forks, I think the best buy right now is is um, OUR, I, and I think it's pretty simple. And I really like the way that the team is engaging. 
you know, I don't know that much about Palace. I just, I saw one kind of Discord AMA and I thought the answers were <coughs> not very good. And I kind of just, I, I just don't know how big that team is. But I, I feel like I have some insight to this team right here. And um, from what I've seen, I'm pretty impressed, I got to say. So, um, and I, I, like I said, I talked to guys, a few, I have like, a, it's, it's growing. It's probably up to about eight to 10 guys that really know these, these uh, Titano Fork Streets well, that are developers or have that kind of background. And they seem to share the same opinion now. So when the smarter guys are telling me, yeah, this, this project looks good, that makes me feel much better. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there as well, but yeah, so let's see how it's, oh yeah. And one thing I wanted to point out that I think is weird. So Dex screener says it's at six, one, three, zero, six, one, three, four. And coin market cap has it at 10% lower, which is right. I have no idea. I thought that was interesting. Um, but anyways, um, their Twitter is growing. So I haven't checked it for a while. Let's see how much it's grown. I think it was a couple hours ago I checked it. Oh, okay, it hasn't grown. So it's still at 555, uh, which is 200 higher than when I did my video a few days ago. Uh, it was at 349 or 350 or 351 or something like that. So it's increased by, so guys, it's still early on is the point I'm making here. I mean, this, still, this thing still has a lot of room to grow. Um, so for example, like Poseidon, how many, how many do they have? I just feel like word has gotten out more and more about some of these other projects than, and now my computer's lagging, um, 878. So again, the point I was trying to make here is just that it still seems very young for this project. And um, they have a higher you know, APY than uh, Titano. Titano is gonna be the first mover. They're gonna have, you know, they have more money already so they can innovate. And uh, it's interesting because the, the team in Uranus, they, they they're not even looking there. They can't wait to surpass Palace and Poseidon, but they're already talking. They did it on Twitter and I saw on Discord. They're already talking about getting to Titano uh, size, which would be amazing because um, that market cap is so much bigger. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to state that um, I guess my video wasn't all that bullish um, or as bullish as maybe some people would have liked when I did the first one on uh, this project. But you know, I just I just want to be transparent and honest and, and give both sides of the coin um, because these are very, very risky projects. That's why I already took out a big part of what I had in there. They can move very, very quickly uh, when you have such a small market cap. I mean, it can move up or down very, very quickly. Um, you know, 20 percent move is like nothing um, and it's going to happen over and over again. So. If you want to take profit, go ahead. Good for you. Congratulations. If you want to write some out, that's cool too. You guys do what you're going to do. I'm not an advisor. I just tell you guys what I do. Um, so yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to cover. Let me look at my notes. Uh, and again, I'm not I'm not fighting uh, Poseidon or Palace. I just think that this is a better buy right now. And like I said, I, I own Poseidon as well. So uh, I'm just being honest um, and letting you know my thoughts. So um, I can't wait to see what happens in the next couple of months with these projects. Uh, we're just scratching the surface. So new, um, you know, I, we have talked about the fact that it'd be really cool to jump on one of these from the jump, from the start. And we did this with this project. Um, I will look for others, uh, for you guys for sure. But we just have to be very, very careful because the rug pulls will happen. Anordis already happened and there'll be more rug pulls. So we do have to navigate these streets with a lot of care and, um, because we don't want to lose money um, on, on a rug pull. So let me know um, what else you want me to cover. If there's a new up and coming uh, fork, Titano fork uh, that you've heard of that you want me to take a look at, I'll be more than happy to. Um, I'm really enjoying doing videos on these Titano forks and Titano. It's just really cool to see the rebase um, tokens be, be added, especially when you come in early. When you come in so early, like a project like this, you have so many, you know, millions of tokens. So your rebases are huge, right? Um, so it just it just makes it more fun. So if 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 the asset grows, then those tokens that that are rebases that you that were basically free, they grow as well. So it just compounds the profit. And um, yeah, um, you know I kind of missed the boat a little bit with Titano. I didn't get into it till five weeks after launch. And now that I'm being uh, now that I'm a part of a of a project from the launch, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. So. Uh, I will end the video then and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Take care.